Ice jams along the Platte River are not budging. All the spring-like weather is not melting them down. Now officials might take drastic steps to clear the danger. First, meteorologist Jim Flowers has the latest on the record-breaking temperatures in some parts of Omaha today. Jim. Greg, records were uh, broken in Lincoln. Also at uh, Epley Airfield, they tied a record. The record was broken in Millard and also at Offutt Air Force Base. Let's show you the uh, flooding concerns uh, as we begin the uh, weather tonight. Flood warnings in effect uh, along the Platte River, Ashland to Valley. Uh, now the wind is becoming a bit of an issue. They're northwest at 25. We've had gusts as high as 40 miles an hour, in some cases as high as 46 miles an hour. And wind advisories are posted through 7 a.m. Tomorrow, and I'll have more on the weather coming up. All right, Jim touched on this. There is growing concern tonight along the Platte River. A massive ice jam that formed earlier this week in western Douglas County is holding together tonight. To prevent flooding, crews might have to blow it up. Kevin Bowden is back from the banks of the river tonight. Kevin? Craig, Jenny, tonight crews are stationed along that ice jam watching for any shifting conditions. Officials had hoped these warmer temperatures would have melted enough ice. So tomorrow, they'll likely stop hoping and start forcing that ice to move. This is video from 1997, when crews had to drop a dynamite from helicopters to break up an ice jam on the Platte River. Tomorrow, it could happen again. We need to take care of this now. We're not going to wait and uh, just hope it goes through. Papio, Missouri River NRD President John Winkler says his team will decide by 8 o'clock tomorrow morning whether or not to blast the mile and a half long ice jam sitting just south of Two Rivers State Park. Typically when you've got this much open water ahead of it and behind it, it just pushes through. But for some reason this is not happening this year. The park is closed after three people needed to be rescued early Tuesday when rising water surrounded their truck. Today, Connor Kelly and Gabby Hazel tried getting into the park to look at the high water. We wanted to go down to the Two River State Park, but they had a road close sign and a guy out in a truck in front that kicked us out. I've never seen it this high. I mean, I've lived in Omaha my whole life, and we have come down here to visit, and it's never been this high. The best view is from above. Spotter planes patrolled the jam as the sun set. NRD crews will watch the river through the night, hoping the ice lets go on its own. Meanwhile, tonight in communities downstream, like here in Ashland, volunteer fire departments are warning people to be vigilant if they live near the river east of town. So far, no evacuations have been ordered and no homes have been damaged, but the levee protecting them is taking a beating. Winkler says ice can gouge out the earthen barrier. The longer you go, the more chance you have that levee weakening and then eventually failing. Some good news for people along the river that levee is holding tonight. If crews do decide to blast the ice tomorrow, the NRD will hire a contractor to do that work. Officials will give details of their plans at a press conference scheduled for 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. Kevin Bouton, Action 3 News.